going on a train trip and thought I'd code another train simulation. You can tell I took inspiration from this old style locomotive here at the station. So I hopped on the train, found my seat, lowered the table, opened my laptop and here's how it went. I started creating an HTML file with an empty canvas element that filled the entire window. I added a style to see if it worked. Next I used the canvas 2D context to draw the track. I added a point on the far left and one on the far right and drew a line in between. I decided on a thickness for the track and added a line at the top and one at the bottom. To draw the sleepers I used linear interpolation. If you want to learn more about this technique I have a video on it. Essentially I started with equally spaced points and transformed them into angled lines that expanded a bit outward. I then wrapped this code in a function and animated it by linking the lerp parameter to the time. Moving on to the train. I started with the wheels. I wanted them to look oval in shape, but had trouble setting the coordinates properly. After lots of trial and error, I got them the way I wanted. I called the function multiple times to get a feel for the size and went online for inspiration. I added more wheels and drew the main cylinder for the locomotive. I then worked on the cabin, which took longer than I'd like to admit due to the difficulty in figuring out coordinates without pen and paper. I added one more set of wheels in front and removed the ones on the right side of the train since they would be blocked by the train body anyway. I then styled the page differently to reduce the amount of red thought I'd make a winter scenery this time. I spent a lot of time on the tracks, drawing a long thin cuboid by calculating all the required coordinates instead of just using a thick line for the bars. Then I began filling in the train body using mostly black and dark grey, and fine-tuned a few things here and there. I decided to hide the top part of the rear wheels of the locomotive, but leave the front ones exposed. I drew the chimney as a truncated cone and moved on to draw the cars. I first figured out the coordinates and then adjusted the size until it looked good. I tried the different colors for the cars and ended up using blue. To make the wheels more interesting, I drew radial lines to form a circle and offset the angle according to the time in the same way I animated the tracks previously. I changed their color and decided to add one of those bar things that move all the wheels in sync. It would just be a long line drawn at the proper angle, and I would only draw it for the third wheel from the front of the locomotive. Next I drew some procedurally generated trees to liven up the background. I stored them in an object pool to be memory friendly. I then figured out how much they should move on the horizontal and vertical axes so the angle is preserved, and how those that appear far away should move slower than those close to the train. Parallax, basically. I matched the speed of the nearby trees to that of the track and made those in the back considerably slower. The trees in the back should look smaller, so I resized them accordingly. I then styled the trees by drawing horizontal line segments that get longer towards the base. I reduced the number of branches at random and added some random angle offsets so they don't look so perfect. I colored the trunk brown and made it thicker. To add some fog and affect the trees in the distance, I looked up how gradients work. Finally, I created a particle system for the smoke, making them go up and towards the right, but not linearly. I played with the functions until it looked good, controlled the transparency and the size until I was happy with it. That's it. I had to make sure not to lose the code this time, since some of you asked for my previous one and I couldn't find it. But don't worry, I'll redo that one as well someday got an idea how to get the same effect without the complicated math from last time. You'll see.